We had so much fun in Missouri with our friends, but it was time to hit the road again. And you know what that means. All kinds of things went wrong. I would like you to not die. Is she going to die? Well, we run in her right to the hospital. I really don't know. I checked the voltage on the sensor. I don't feel super comfy driving as far as we need to drive. Now I'm trapped in here. No. I, I'm going to laugh to avoid from crying. <laughs> Sit down, buckle up, and get ready for another wild ride. Are you driving the bus with the windshield things in? Yep. What? We're literally moving right now. <laughs> oh no! You hit the blackstone. Well, I think one of the one of the bay door things was slightly open. Oh. Uh, so I'm a good driver because, like, I backed into a rock, but <laughs> but you knocked over the blackstone. Father's Day hookups. Yeah. It's Father's Day, so I don't want to ask Alex to do this. I'm gonna try and do it myself. I'm going to fix our washer. It's been throwing up an error code E21. So I Googled it and it's not draining properly. And also I went through all the trouble of Googling it only to find that it's literally printed on a sticker on the washer how to fix it. So yeah, basically we're going to pull this out and a bunch of water I think is going to pull this out here. And I think a bunch of water is going to come out. So, I've got some containers. Hopefully, they will hold it all. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't catch it all. I think the water will stop eventually, right? It's a nice... Oh, yep. There's our problem. <sighs> yep. That's what's wrong. It's full of... Like, there's an actual nail in here. Buenos dias amigos. So today is Father's Day and we were able to move over back to a full hookup site, which is great because today's gonna be a whopping like 94 degrees and like 85% humidity. So it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be very hot. Hi. Hi. So it's Father's Day. So I didn't wanna ask, to, ask you to fix the washer dryer. So I did it and I'm really yeah. proud of myself. What'd you do? I fixed it. All of this was in our drain plug. Oh yeah. The filter that you have to clean at the bottom. Good. Yep. Nailed it. So that's why it wasn't draining. It smells delicious. <laughs> the first thing I've ever fixed. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, I fixed the washer. <laughs> we got the Father's Day dinner going on. We made some unsloppy joes for this guy as requested. And they're so good. Crescent roll, anything stuffed in a crescent roll. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> what do you think, Hadley? Mm. No mas. <laughs> Look at our cat. That's one fucking nice kitty right there. I don't even know how she got out. She's like, when I'm outside, I'm not your cat. I'm wild. I'm a wild animal. Don't you come near me. I'm mountain lion, not kitty. You wanna go in? Let me let you in. Okay, here you go. Go in. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This super sucks. <laughs> but it's you. <laughs> it's you. Alexander! So I'm He's so, tapped! I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. No, you're not! Now he's now he's 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 gotta attack. He's, He's super sorry. It's super sucks. <laughs> how's your uh, how's your popcorn making? Um, Berkeley really loves popcorn night, like a lot. It's his favorite, so he loves to just help make it. And yeah, he does. Yeah, he's super grateful. For he the said, popcorn maker. He said thanks, mom. I'm going to an Amazon return store, and I've told myself that I'm going to behave in here. I'm not going to spend a lot of money. So let's see how I do. I love these places. If you ever have the opportunity to go, 
go. <laughs> you thought they were close. Yeah, I caught two this one. Oh, wow. Everything's in a swimming pool. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be fine because I'm not gonna spend that much money. It's crazy because I don't know what half of this even is. Oh, those are cool. Is it like one of those that's I think so. Okay, we'll, we'll carry this around. I might need a cart. I purposely wasn't. <laughs> I'm gonna get a cart, but not because I'm gonna buy a lot of things. I've been wanting these for pet hair removal when you have a giant fluffy dog and a cat. <gasps> huh? Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Love. Buenos dias, amigos. So today we are down chilling down at the creek. I just wanted to see if it was like something cool that we might be able to swim at or anything like that. And it's kind of swimmable right now, but I feel like it could be extremely deep. So the day that we got here at the campground, they said that this low water bridge right here was underwater by, by a little bit, by like even say like six inches, right? At my height right now, standing flat where I am, if this was buried under six inches of water, I'd be fully under the water right which is wild, but for now, it's just like barely ankle deep. Okay, what are you going to do? Go drop off some uh, marshmallow stuff for that fire over there. Okay, sounds good. Let's go do it. Whoa, good backing up. Hey, I like your flag. Thanks, I'm proud of the American group. Yeah, you're proud to be an American? Let's go, USA number one. I'm ready to go to this fire. We're gonna be roasting up all the marshmallows. So you do this and you have like a couple, a couple camping chairs. Oh. And you're packed and ready. Like marshmallows, got a fanny pack of marshmallows in here, roast them, chair, boom, done. It's like you're ultimate dad vibes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of like the guy that looks out for all the kitties in the park. Duke the campground cat. Yeah. Check it out. Don't run with it. That's safe. Safety first. Hello. Hello. What's up with me? Okay. <laughs> what does? Two plus two is important. Yeah. Two plus two, 40 million times. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of times. Hey, we got iced coffee and magic. It's a whole vibe. We got the mood set. Berkeley's loving it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Buenos dias, amigos. So we moved on to a, another campground because the campground that we were at, they had no more hookups. So, and it's like 95 degrees plus. So we wanted to make sure we had AC. But the campground that we're see. at, oh my goodness, has this. Look at this. Tally is in love. The one is in the little vehicle. Pooping. Oh, he's pooping. Oh, he's pooping. We're not supposed to operate vehicles with the door open. Okay? Yeah, if you're... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there's there's oh do, you want, do you want some ice cream? Oh, 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 oh. Love that one. Oh, there's a little bit of ice cream. Yeah. I feel like they're just getting the pool like started here. Yeah. Cause like there's nothing else situated. It looks like it's all freshly poured and yeah. open sunrise to sunset. Are you ready to go swimming? Hi, you ready to go swimming? Okay. Wait, you, you can't go swimming with your helmet on. Silly. What'd you find? In, in an alcoholic beverage. Sunny D vodka seltzers? Okay. okay well, what's your thought? Like, what do you Yeah, think? no, like, I loved Sunny D as a kid. Same. Yeah, big facts. Let's get it. Okay. Okay, done. Another flavor. Okay. Should we investigate? Yeah, let's investigate. Let's do this. We're detectives. We are. Is that like, is that like vodka for kids? No, not, not for kids. <laughs> vodka is only for adults. <laughs> only for adults. Okay. 
Is that is, is that regular? Which one would be regular? I don't know, because they're both orange. I thought the orange one, this one, would be regular. Over these gifts. Yeah, what, what does it say? Orange strawberry or orange pineapple? Ooh, we'll get them both. I don't know where the cherries are, though. They're right there, Mommy. Oh, my gosh. Are you blind or something? <laughs> she really got me. Okay, so we got a lot going on over here. So much going on. What it's are you doing? Riveting stuff. Making okay. ranch. Nice. Okay, I like it. For us to dip our wings in for our little. Did you tell him? Did you I didn't. I did not tell him. No. Nope. What are we doing today? We're having a date. Yeah. I'm so. I have a really hot date tonight. I just yeah. want you to know. And I, I'm. I'm just doing the most for my hot date. So. Yeah. Oh, hey, guess what? What? Your hot date just finished the wings. Yay! Yep. Yeah. And. What's going on there? I made us our drinks. So it's not mixed yet, but we got the amaretto. And then the homemade cherry bubbly. Yes. Made with the soda stream. And what's going on back here? What are you doing, ma'am? Uh, You're playing Fortnite? Mm -hmm. And eating mac and cheese? Yep. Yeah. And Declan's doing the same thing. He's got his Fortnite action going on. Talking to his friend. Hey, what's up, Jack? How you doing, bud? Good. Good. So it was end of the night and they were closing. So they hooked us up with, I asked for a large side and they just filled this tub full of cheese bites. So it was $4 for about a million cheese bites. Oh, wow. That looks- Literally looks and tastes like ranch. <laughs> Cause it's ranch. Cause it's ranch. It literally tastes like ranch. In case you were wondering if you were like, wanting to get a vibe for yep. what's going on, it tastes like ranch. Uh... <laughs> I'm eating these, which are jalapeno bites, jalapeno powder bites, which do in fact include dairy in them. I'm allergic to dairy. Like I haven't had a jalapeno popper in Maybe years. Last. And I was, and I ate a few of those. But I've been taking that uh, digestive enzyme thing. You show it. It's worked out fantastic. So I'm actually able to eat all of my dairy stuff. Look at. It's got all the good bacteria and things that you need to to be able to digest. Like, y'all ready for this? Okay, we're, oh, we're, we're, we're being wild. We are okay. being wild. Yeah, cheers it. And let me know how my drink is. That's dangerous, Mr. Morris. It's going down tonight. Oh. I literally cannot believe I just did that. Like, can't take you anywhere. How did I do that? Can't take you anywhere. I gotta watch you like I'm watching one of the kids now. <laughs> so I'm just out here poisoning myself as soon as you look away. We ended up having boneless wings for dinner, but we didn't sauce all of them. I thought that Alex put away the leftover boneless wings in the Ziploc bag in the fridge. So I got my little homemade ranch jar and the Ziploc bag of boneless wings and sat here and ate way too many for me to have not noticed. But anyway, did that before I realized they were jalapeno poppers and not chicken wings. You ate a whole one and you're like, yeah, there's no chicken in here, but it's delicious. <laughs> I'm allergic to dairy. Like I haven't had a jalapeno popper in Maybe years. Last. And I was, and I ate a few of those. So I think it's safe to pre-take antihistamine stuff because like, uh, yeah, definitely don't want that in your life. No. I would like you to not die. Yes. That would be great, thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that and I love yeah. you. I love you. I'm going to do my best to not poison myself. Stick around to the video to find out what happens. Hopefully she's still here. Subscribe to find out. <laughs> like, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Is she going to die? Wait, no. wait, oh, the jalapeno poppers have cheese? Yeah, they have cream cheese. It's dairy. Wait, and your throat didn't close up? No, I think mommy will be fine. Yeah. I think honestly mommy will be fine. 
because she took Benadryl, she's chilling, she's gonna be okay just in case. Does she need no a problem. EpiPen? But if she does, we running her right to the hospital. My EpiPen is in my little Mexico fanny pack thing right there. Mexico fanny pack, Roger. Yeah. I keep it in there with just me the all the time. Thank you, bro. Now mommy's good. Yeah. Okay, do not move that. Okay. Not move that. Okay. I love you, bro. Love you. This is editing Ashley from the future. I realized I didn't update on the whole situation with eating dairy. I think because I took Benadryl right away as soon as I realized and I only had a little bit, I was okay. So thank goodness for Benadryl because, and thank goodness I realized when I did, because I, if I had kept eating them or not realized and didn't take the Benadryl, I think it could have been a lot worse. So yeah, thank goodness I caught it early and I had the Benadryl and I was okay. All right, back to the vlog. So we got a bit of a situation. We are in the truck headed to the FedEx place. I don't know what it's Fed called. This is FedEx Ground Ship. Yes, so. because we are still in Missouri. We had to extend our time here because we are waiting on a package. It's a very important package for work. And if we don't get it like a couple of days ago, we are going to have some consequences for that. So I'm really hoping that they have our package there. It was supposed to get delivered at the last campground that we were at, but it said it was undeliverable. This has happened to us before with FedEx. If it gets delivered to a campground and you don't put a site number on there, they just don't deliver it. Even though in the delivery instructions, I wrote where to leave it. Uh, they still said it couldn't be delivered. So we're trying to track it down. We're going to the FedEx distribution center. I don't know if I'm saying that right. We're playing chase the package. Chase the package. It's not my favorite game, but it is a downside to RV life. We play chase the package quite a bit. We really do. Even though it's not our favorite game. So here's hoping they have it. Here's hoping that everything that needed to be in it is in it because I am worried that we don't have everything that we need. We will. We Speaking will. into existence. Speaking that's how you gotta do it. Only existence. positivity. Yes. It'll be there. PBO, positive vibes only. Okay, here we are. We're at the ground location. You make it sound so official, like we're CIA. We're yeah. at the ground location. We're on the ground. Secret spy mission. Yep. Eagle has landed. We are ready to go. Let's go and check it out. Let's Hopefully they got the package. package. Yeah. yeah. That's because it's an RVer's favorite thing to do. Yeah. Let's play fetch the package. Okay, but can we talk about how secure this is? Like, what the heck? Look what we have to walk through. Yeah, I think we can maybe go around. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I don't know how this is supposed to go. That's where the lady told us to come. I don't even know if that means that we're going to be able to come here and pick it up. Okay, so it says all visitors have to report to the office. Let's go check it out. I don't know if you're going to be able to go through. We might have to call them. Try and push. Paddles back up. Paddles back up. Nope. Okay, here, let's But now I'm trapped in here. No, it, it'll go reverse. It'll always it, It'll always spin reverse. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. I think I just pushed this button. I'm here to pick up a package. Do you have a package number? Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so she said, I don't know if you heard, she said that there was an issue with the delivery and that they'll have somebody bring it out to us shortly. So perfect. We're just going to wait out here because we do not have the credentials to make it through the security gate. That is wild. Have you ever been to a, like a, a package place where it was like this? Yes, they were chilling. Throw Hadley over the fence. Yeah, I and mean, she could get out. Enough. Yeah, you gonna go in there and go get our package? Why not? Uh, how uh, we could all get through? Yeah. If someone helps me push, I think this is long enough to go through here. Oh yeah. Yeah, I do. I do think that too. Yeah, this place is wild. I mean, there's barbed wire. Nobody's getting in. Yep. It's a prison. That oh. is still out doing pickups and deliveries. Okay. okay. And uh, he marked it as unable to uh, deliver. Are you guys open tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, like in the morning? 
So, like, if he comes back and, like, holds it, like, we can pick it up in the morning or, like, potentially... I can flag it to be held here at the station to pick it. Okay, oh, that'd be great. Like, you... Good morning. It's gotta be more than just that. Good morning, everybody. It's far too early to be energetic. We have been on this time zone for a week plus. And have not at all made any attempt to adjust. We've been up really late and sleeping in. So, we are going to the FedEx place again, and hopefully they will have our package and all will be well. I'm really hoping that's the case, because then we can leave and head to Michigan. Make a long drive today. Yep. FedEx take two dose, if you will. Let's it all works out. Run over to the prison again. <laughs> Literally, why is it this high security? I don't understand. Package secured, but definitely not the air fryer. Oh my gosh. I, I'm gonna laugh to avoid from crying, but I mean, like, we've got the package. Maybe there's an air fryer and a stereo system and an eyelash extension kit in here. I'm gonna be an optimist. Let's go. Oh, there's the truck. Let's go open this package and uh, let's pull out the world's smallest air fryer. Let's do it. <laughs> It'll be great. How cool is this? It does look pretty sweet. Yeah. This is for the bus. Are you gonna set this up before we leave? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> aren't Aren't you excited for it? Very. It's like navigation and everything. Let's do it. Okay, let's go home and set it up. So the bus is giving me a check engine light for low coolant, but I don't have low coolant. So I'm not sure why it's giving me that. Huh. So I just topped up coolant. I made sure the sensor's good. I don't understand where it's getting at. I literally, I don't know. It's at the full of the eyeglass, like, I checked the voltage on the sensor. Huh. It's back on. I don't know if you want to look at something while you're back here. All right. All right. Got my heatless curls in. Figure it's drive day. I'll put the heatless curls in and then when we get where we're going, I'll have my hair done. However, when we get there, it's going to be time to put them back in. <laughs> anyway, because it's going to be late. So, yeah, I guess I'll just have really curly hair tomorrow. Anyway, um, our bus is saying it's low on coolant, even though Alex filled coolant and he cleared the codes twice and it's still throwing this code saying that we have low coolant. And personally, I don't feel super comfy driving as far as we need to drive with it saying that because what it does when you have it running with it saying it's low coolant for a long time is it will just shut off our engine because i mean it's a protective thing right because you want coolant in your engine so it'll just turn it off on the freeway or wherever we happen to be and i think that could make for a very tumultuous travel day if our engine keeps shutting off and also i don't feel like it would say we had low coolant if we didn't. Alex filled it, he said he can see it in the sight glass, so I'm sure I'm sure we have it, but is something wrong more? I don't know, so we'll see. Coat's gone. Yeah, so I just pushed in the jumper a little bit. It was a little bit oily. So we ragtag it a little bit, in case anybody wants to know the uh, sensor for the coolant reservoirs jumped out because it apparently trips all the time. And so it's just jumpered out to say it's good, but I can see the coolant in the reservoir and we constantly check it all the time. So we should be chilling. I just don't want that code to pop on while we're driving because it's a engine inhibiting code. So it'll make our engine not be as strong. 
And while pulling the bus, we needed to be strong. Next on, the Wanderlusters. The rubber meets the road, or however that expression goes. We traveled back to our home state of Michigan for the first time in three years. A lot had changed in those three years, and we were so excited to see all our family and friends again. So join us next time as we take you back to where it all started. Back to our hometown with some of our favorite people, and we even get to meet some new favorite people. I hope you guys are ready for some absolutely wild times.